from Solomon's Castle. I had intended to tour the castle, but it turns out it costs $18 for adults and they don't take debit cards. So bring cash if you want to see it. through the grounds and see what we can see. But behind me is Solomon's Castle. It's a very unique place. The castle was built in 1974 and is made of aluminum printing plates and decorated with 80 interpreted stained glass windows. Howard Solomon was the artist and creator of Solomon's Castle, a quirky and unexpected attraction hidden in the Florida woodlands in tiny Ona, Florida. The three-story, 12,000 square foot castle is for sale in case you're in the market and have a spare two and a half million dollars lying around. Well, as luck would have it, uh, it is $18 to get into Solomon's Castle, and they do not take debit cards. They do have an ATM on site, and there is a minimal fee of approximately $2, but our bank also adds on a fee, usually resulting in about $5 just to get cash. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to take a pass today on touring Solomon's Castle, but it is a unique place, and probably worth a visit but I couldn't say because I didn't get to go inside. The grounds are pretty and the castle is definitely unique. As I was headed back to the car I noticed this small trail and decided to take a little peek and it doesn't really go anywhere but it's a nice little walk and the trees are pretty and there's a little creek or river, Parv River, I'm not sure, off to the side over here. I looked to see if there were any gators, but none were found. So, if you're like me, explore the grounds. You can see the outside of the castle and take the little trail and enjoy a little bit of nature. We're at uh, Peace River. Thousand Trails. Yep. Peace River RV Resort. In Wachula? Wachula, Florida. And uh, where it is very humid. Very humid. Very, very, very humid. <laughs> so humid it's been falling yeah. out of the sky and drops. Yeah, it's rained today, but this is the first day. It's also a decent temperature finally. It's yeah. uh, been in the upper 80s all week. They said record highs yes. this week. Yes. Uh, two, two days, two or three days. Three at least. Um, <laughs> It's a pretty nice place. Uh, they've got a pool and activity center, mm -hmm. laundry, um, pretty much your normal accommodations. They have a really full activity calendar at they this do. time of year. They uh, have a uh, they have a pickleball court, which is fun to watch if you've never seen it played. They have uh, miniature golf. They have uh, yoga classes, painting classes, water aerobics, all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah, and it's. Uh, pretty packed right now. Uh, this is the peak season in Florida. All the snowbirds are Aww. staying where it's warm. So this is this is one of the benefits of our Thousand Trails membership. Yes. So we tried to get a longer stay here but six days was all we could get. <laughs> yeah. As far as accessibility, what would you say? Um, I'd say the accessibility is probably at least a four if not a five because it's right off the highway. Very and, easy to get to. And proximity is good too. I would say proximity is good. I mean, there, it's we're not, it's not near a big town or anything like that, but there, there are several things in the area to see and do. So it's pretty neat. Noise would go along with the proximity to the highway. So noise is a, probably about a two. Yeah, <laughs> and it's that's fairly loud. bad. Yeah, I, there, I think one night this week, I slept well, but every other night it's been 
it's been pretty noisy with the trucks going down. Yeah. There are different sites you can get. We're fairly close to the highway. Right. Um, but if you come during peak season like we did, then that might be a challenge because, you know, there's, you have to take what spots you can find. <laughs> right. Site levelness. Uh, sites aren't really level where we were at. They're not, and the ground is very soft, so yeah. you can't even stay level. <laughs> and the level sites are uh, prone to waterlog. Uh -huh. We just saw a guy get stuck um, <coughs> pulling a travel trailer with a Class C. <laughs> yes. There isn't a sewer hookup, only water and electric. Right. Uh, but they are pretty good size sites. Mm -hmm. They're decent size. They're not right on top of each other. Right. So they do have some sewer sites, but because this is peak season, they have a lottery system where you have to put your name in and see if you get drawn and if you get drawn you get to go pick a site the, that's the con and i guess the pro is that they have the honey wagon service which so is a guy on a tractor with a big <laughs> uh, containment unit on the back yeah um, that he pumps you out yeah and hauls your haul, hauls your poo away <laughs> hauls your poo away right and they do that for free um i think you get two uh during a two to three week we're unsure about that time span which is pretty good Overall, what would you think about uh, staying here again? Um, I would definitely stay here again. I think just being able to kind of chill and relax because there's not a lot of activities in the area is a good thing. So it's a nice area. Cell, so, uh, cell signal on Verizon and at and are both uh -huh. excellent. They are. So, so overall, I agree. Yeah. I'd, I'd stay here again. I would stay here again. So that wraps up our time here in Wachula. Uh, we had some adventures. Uh, and some misadventures. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next, we're headed to Miami, Florida. Mm -hmm. We're going to see Everglades National Park. Um, we're going to try to see Biscayne as well. Um, it's, you know, out in the ocean, so we don't know. <laughs> and uh, what else are we going to do there? We're going to a lot dock and a casino park. Oh, lot. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been a, been a while since we've lot docked in a casino. Yeah. Uh, our past experience has been pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, they're pretty good with security and stuff like that. Well, it kicks off uh, what is planned to be four weeks of, uh, of boondocking for us. So we're hoping for sunny skies and decent temperatures. You know, 70s would be real nice. <laughs> um, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time. Bye.